and the things that all it needs to be an independent and sovereign country. We, as a party, will look for a reasonable and rational immigration policy just like every other democratic, independent country in the world. We will make immigration dependent on not people's desire to come here, but on the needs of the Irish people. The refugees are welcome. They're, they're welcome, especially those from Ukraine, who are genuine refugees in a situation of war. But they come not for permanent residence, but for temporary refugee status. We will seek to have to control the immigration policy and that that immigration policy is a people who are vetted just as in every other country in the world outside the European Union. Because of an uncontrolled, unvetted immigration policy, it is alleged that a person from Slovakia this year is alleged, not guilty, only alleged, to have killed a young and beautiful Irish woman, Ashley Murphy, earlier this year. That man would not have been in this country. That woman would be alive today if Ireland had a policy of control and vetted immigration. Those who advocate uncontrolled, unvetted immigration are responsible for the presence of that man in Ireland. In a way, they have blood on their hands for the murder of Ashley Murphy. It was disgusting what happened a month ago when Ashley Murphy and her family are devout Irish Catholics. One man had prayed for her a month ago. People, so-called radical feminists or trans ideologues, turned up with pro-abortion posters to shake a gift at her fellow Catholics who were here in the straight streets of women to pray for that poor woman. So my friends, See monumentally clueless circumspection. If you want a monument to what you are, just look around. Look, look around. Be honest with yourself. Are you proud of your behavior today? Are you proud of the hatred, of the hatred that you generate? Are you sure that your parents and your forefathers who fought against Britain that Ireland could be sovereign and independent with Irish culture? Is this why they fought and died and struggled to be a little California limit? Ask yourselves honestly tonight, is that why they died? Are you proud? My friends, a tragic girl. I would like to thank all our comrades, all our country men and women for coming here today. I'd like to thank Brenda Shirakala for doing the job to keep the peace. I would like to thank all of those who came here to listen with an open mind. I respect everybody's freedom of speech. Incitement to hatred is not freedom of speech. So those who were inciting